Yo, what's up? I guess this is Suburban Part 11. Uh, I have no reverse lights right now on the truck, but uh, as you can see, there's a whole mess of wires going on down there. I even found a wire for like a, uh, or a light, I should say, for the license plate light, which are missing. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to take off the stock lights and uh, see if I can't just put the original wires back the way they were and see if that'll change anything. So let me take off the lights, obviously. All right, guys, I'm back. So what I did technically is I cut off all the wires that were spliced off the main and um, I re-black taped them, electric taped them up good and solid, put them back in where they go. I'm going to have Jacob come over and check and see if uh, I'm actually getting a reverse light now because there's a lot of garbage going on down here. There's, there's shit I don't even know what to do with. But uh, let's check it out. All right, so we checked it out and they're still not working. So further investigation will be uh, going under the Jeep. Uh, the Jeep, oh my God, peeps. The Suburban. Uh, there's another wire on the passenger side. I see it was spliced into but underneath the truck. So I'm going to further investigate that as well. And uh, check that out from there. Hey, peeps. Another Suburban update. Uh, kind of got into, you know, doing things before filming. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, this morning what we did, uh, my stepbrother's down from uh, up north in Quebec. Uh, had to get the engine changed in his uh, 2014 Hyundai Accent over there, the blue one. Uh, 60,000 kilometers, which is like 45 45,000 miles the engine started to fuck up. I guess they have a huge problem with uh, most of their engines that were machined and done the heads in China They're not even using the same type of alloy. So when it gets hot and cold, it doesn't shrink and grow the same size or anyways It's all warped, but uh, What we did this morning is we got a brand new starter on this thing. It starts a hell of a lot better and uh, Right now we are in the midst of taking off all the uh, hydraulic uh, parts for my buddy there he uh, he bought the plow selling it to him for a thousand bucks here's the pump and the, uh, the the plow is at my dad's and we got two bolts left to take this big bad boy off the front and the truck will look a lot different without that on there but uh, that's what we're doing I just remove the, the pump from here and uh, I'm gonna go see uh, garages for the wiring because it's kind of messed up and I want to fuck around with that. But uh, got the pump out. There's my uh, Bin Laden helper, stepbrother <laughs> from Quebec. But uh, like he was saying, you need to grow a beard for the climate, and he's up north. So, all right, guys, let's, we're gonna get back to work. I'll catch you later. Oh, là, you about not going bon vieux Québécois. So we finally got it off. It wasn't that big of a job. But uh, it's off. We're happy. The truck looks way different now. I can finally install my other things now that this is out of the way. And uh, keep moving forward. The truck looks really funny now. Different. But uh, there you go, peeps. A little update for you guys. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, ça va, ça va. <laughs> hey guys, uh, after today's completion of removing the, uh, the front plow, you can, I, you can kind of see one of the, the lights outside there and getting the pump out. And I got other parts down here. I'm putting the new starter on, and we went and cleaned it. At the car wash, I also purchased these. I didn't really do an unbox, so I was really kind of itchy to, to open it up. But it's Philips, and uh, I really love Philips brands. They seem to last forever. I got a, they're seven inch. I've got two screens. One's the main one, and one leeches off the other one. And there's a DVD player on the back of this one, and it plugs into the lighter. But uh, I'm probably gonna make it like a permanent off a uh, a 12 volt source and have a switch on and off switch to clean up the wires and stuff this summer but the kids will be happy to have a little TV in a car 
when we go on long trips or just whatever, if we're stopped at the, uh, I think Naomi's he's working away. Sorry for the noise, Pete, but I'm still, I'm doing some boxing. Oh, pizza's here, guys. So I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, what's up? Came out here to uh, plug my CB, but uh, we're looking at wires that were just doing nothing in the truck. I had them all over the place, so we just fucking started going through them. Where's this wire go? What does this do? This do? And these are all wires we took out that were just doing nothing, and half of them were hot, just lying around, ready to catch on fire. So, I'm so glad we got fucking rid of that. So, uh, let's keep moving forward, eh? Hey guys, just got done testing uh, the DVD player. I didn't want to show you guys any uh, any of the video because I don't want any uh, counter copyright strikes against me. But I can tell you that it looks okay for the small screen. It's not HD. And it's very, very shock resistant. Like I was shaking it really hard and it wasn't skipping a beat. So I think it's a good investment for the kids. I'm going to have to get a longer uh, AV cable for the Suburban and also um, make a longer wire for the the power and I'm probably going to put it to a switch, make a switch board for the truck. But uh, that's down the road, so uh, cool guys, sorry for the random videos today for the Suburban and stuff, I was all over the place doing shit and all these random wires that we took out of the truck, so it's, it's a lot. <laughs> Alright guys, catch you later.